Um, so, you guys have arrived in Celestia, and you found some angels, and they were like, hey, we're going to challenge you and see if you have, you know, prove that you were worthy to ascend the mountain. And then you guys, you guys beat up some angels. Yeah. And now you're heading further? Butts. Uh, did we short rest after kicking oh, yeah. Angel Butt? We probably showed short rest after kicking Angel Butt. I assume there would be more challenges, right? The yeah, angel did say there, there will be more challenges. But how right. Cool, 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 cool. How but we much... don't know what those challenges are going to be. It could be more angels. It could be even even more angels than the more angels, or something else. Or even more angels. Have you considered yeah, that? Yeah, that could always be a thing as well. Uh, Just endless angels. How much bonus healing do we get from Clydo's like thing? Um, thirteen. Thirteen. One should do. If you are using my healing thing, I will need a uh, healing surge, please. I will. I I did spend the surge that I used. Uh, do you want additional surges? Nope. To restock. Good. Okay. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> this is the temple where uh, Olivia turned into a human. No, it's not. Nope. Isn't it? No. Oh, no, nope. I thought it was. No, that one is much bigger and oriented the other way. I see. God damn it. I need like three hit points or something. Five hit points. I mean, just do it then. I have to use another surge for five hit points. I'll use one of mine. It's fine. I've got. Don't I've, you I have the thing that makes it so you overheal? What do you mean overheal? The sanctuary of vivacity? The belt? Like you get to. Yeah. Oh, during combat. I just spent a healing sword so you can heal. I guess yeah, you can't do that because it's only during combat. But I mean, like... I can just I can just heal you like right away. But, you know, but, you but I. My. Defenses. Yeah, which yeah, is why I'll heal you yeah. right away. So okay, you get your okay, 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 okay. I I have spent a healing surge. And I well, have don't do that. Don't dumped do that. The, the healing infusion all over Rain's head. Don't do it! Don't! Okay, Rain, Rain you get 5 HP. too late. Oh my god. It's yeah. too late. I mean, it's not 5 HP. It is 5 HP and 1 AC, so. 1 AC, 1 4, 1 <laughs> reflex, 1 will. It was 1 to all your defenses? Yes. I, god, I give up. <laughs> Pretty good value if it's one to all defenses. Would yeah, that try HP and plus as well? one all defenses? Pretty good. Would, good. Uh, would, it, would uh, Kromiak or, Ka or Katra like some healing as well? No, I'm good. No. Okay, we shall continue. And Katra is not even down a single healing surge right there. <laughs> be fair, we were a little, uh, you know, we were hoofing it up the mountain to get to those angels. And Katra is, uh, her healing surge value is, uh, 52. Damn. Her value is five higher than mine. Yeah. I mean... It's, th it's six higher than mine. She I has... Down. Oh, fuck! Fuck. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna cut it off. I'll do this instead. Oh so, no! Uh, <laughs> the uh, yeah, she's got some feats that like make her more durable. And is is it dwarven durability? She has durable and dwarven durability and toughness. Double durability. So how how does healing surge uh, or temp HP work? It goes away after a short rest, right? Yes. Oh, I was wrong. Her healing surge value is 53. If I gain temp HP during a short rest, do I just not gain any? It, 
No, you, you, you keep it, I believe. Okay. Then I have temp HP for spending a healing search, great. But like that one. Is... Five. Wow. Oh. Okay, so. You guys have rested. Yeah. Off we go up the hill. Yep. To see our Lord and Savior. Let's go. Well, there's more trials first, Fido. <clears throat> yes, but we are heading to see our Lord and Savior. That is yeah. our ultimate direction and goal. It is. <clears throat> Alright, so in front of you, you guys see a fairly conspicuous temple. A shrine of some sort, perhaps. On the mountainside. Doesn't make me sick. No? Well, wow. last time I was in a very fancy light temple and it made me sick. When we met Axios. Uh, I would like to make... Oh, because it's like the god of life and you're like a god of death thing? Yeah. Because yeah. we're no. walking up here. Harden yeah. isn't a god of life, though. No, he's got a creation. <laughs> like life, but... Uh, the, uh... The temple is covered in symbols and iconography of Mordens. Pretty clear what this place is. Asmiak, is there any uh, etiquettes that we should follow before proceeding? Yeah, oh, well, pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff. Yeah. Be respectful. Take yeah. off your shoes before you enter. Okay. Make Currently sure you have a beard. Off my sandals. Make sure and your beard reaches your belly button at, at the least, very least. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a grave offense. Eldwin starts taking his longer locks and tucking them underneath his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that dwarf face? Is that racist? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there's a spell. Like, right, you can grow, grow your beard out. There's a Pathfinder spell called, I think, Iron Beard or some shit like that. that let's lets you grow like an actual metal beard, and then punch people with it. I won't get into Not it. Uh, Pizocon's going on this weekend, and they released a lot of details about yeah, two A stuff. Yep. About like two point five or whatever the fuck. Yeah. It looks. <laughs> it looks pretty neat. Divine Lance would be less worthless. Fog. It'll, it's going to do spirit damage from now on. Which affects Anyways. anything that has a spirit. Oh, not constructs. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just enter and see what happens. So, hold up. Holding up. There, there is a large flash of light. Oosh. Oh, big okay. If you wish to commune with Morden, then you must best me. In These combat, simple. question mark. Yes. Understood. Morden does not question your motives, nor your competence. It's simply your strength and your willpower. Alright. Have we reached a milestone today yet, or is this the no. milestone? Nope. This would be our milestone. Okay. Alright, so. A shivering barrier of uh Energy. Oh no, the boss bug. Catra, get in here quick. I assume That's we want to go with Catra again. Oh, nope, it's too late. Too late. Right. Oh. You guys cannot leave. They cannot enter. Okay. 
The angel draws four swords. General Casimir. <laughs> Hello there. Rain. Um, I'm gonna use uh this this thing. So he goes last. <laughs> oh my god! What's his What's his full title? Angel of Pro Prophecy. Yep. Angel of Prop. And it, it uh. does say prophecy in the throne order. Oh, I have it really tiny for overlay. Uh, I see. Do so I. Is this a religion check? On this guy? Certainly can. Eh. Ooh, he's an angel, probably. Clearly, he's a powerful angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. What do you get? Yeah, he is a... Uh... Yeah. Pretty powerful angel. Um, he's got threatening reach. He's got big ol' long arms. And he's got that angelic presence that's so gonna make him hard to hit. And he can, uh, he can curse someone with a mark of prophecy. Uh, and force people to reroll attacks. And oh. radiant damage is effective still. He is uh, resistant to thunder, cold, and radiant. Thunder, uh, cold, and radiant. Do you still uh, have that thing, Clyde-O? Uh, what thing? The thing you do to my sword to make me have different damage power. No, I did it to your sword on the last fight, I think. But I have other stuff I can do. I didn't know if it was daily, but I want. Can I delay until after Kaleido goes? Sure. Do you, uh, are you worried at all about being up attacked by the guy if he has threatening reach? Because if so, uh, I could go before you as well and mark him. Oh, that's fine. I'll go after Chromiac, then. Yeah. Uh, I'll let the debuffers do their debuffing, and the buffers do their buffing. Do nice. we know what the angelic presence means? It's we can't, the, it's hard to hit him? Yeah, it's harder to hit him before Minus while he's Minus two to attack rolls against him? Yeah. Oh, okay. As long as he's not blooded. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna use Chaos Weapon with my armbow. Uh, it's a new Chaos power control. that I haven't used yet. And I'm gonna use it, set it to fire, because he's resistant to cold, right? Yeah. Cold, thunder, and radiant, right? 43 to hit. Um, yes. Very good. Uh, so, everyone within two squares of me right now gets uh, 1d8, X, 1d8 plus 5. Extra damage to your weapon attacks only until the end of my next turn. Sorry, Belden. That's okay. Um, can I do something else with the uh, minor action? Um, I'm good. That's my turn. Alright, Rain, when are you delaying? What? How long are you delaying? Oh, until after Chromiac. Chrome, you're up. Right. I am going to charge this man. Which gets me here and him an up attack because he has It sure does. Damage. Uh, Forty-five against AC. Yep. 
that's a hit. Oh, no, okay, that... That was scuffed. There we go. Okay, then my resistance is off from to two. And I get to punch him as part of the charge. And he is marked. Yes. Is that with the minus two from Angelic Presence? I did not uh -huh. execute that, sorry. Okay. Yep. And then the... Wait. Uh... Oh, that did not include the bonus somehow. I thought I made that a macro. Uh, okay. Hang on. The 1d8 plus five. Plus five. So seven extra. Sorry about that. That's my turn. That's extra damage he takes? Yep. Brain. He is now marked. Should be having a harder time hitting you with up attacks. How far is his reach? Uh, three. Oh. Forgot. So, it reaches to there? Yep. Oh. It's fine. I already took it. <laughs> Look, so, it's... it's yeah. You can't expect to remember everything about our game. There's a lot. His reach is basically the entire temple. Correct! Yep. Wow. It's fine, I got him. I was gonna try and teleport around him to the other side. You can, you can provoke an op attack. I will punch him for it. Let's see, what do I know what to take to get the five? No touchy. There. Why do you want to get to the other side of him? Flanking, I presume. Flanking? So oh, we yeah. Cancel out the... Does help me, yeah. Strategy. Hello. Hello, I op attack you. I will punch him. And you will take minus two. Uh, yeah. 42 against AC Rain. God damn it, my AC's 41. Miss. Unfortunate. How much do I take? I will not proceed to teleport behind him. Oh, wait, you mark him. That is a free act. The flowchart. The flowchart. <laughs> I already made it past that part. I thought it was. I thought. I thought it should go Sorry. without saying at this point, but it can't go without saying because I have to say it. Forehead. Or e head. So, I do have. No combat advantage, it's cancelled out. Sure. Uh... But I get my two dice. Hey, there we go. Okay. Uh, pl plus... What is it, one... 1d8 plus... Five. Five, yeah. Because I forgot to put it in the thing. And then the button. Um, so I would eat an op attack if I were to cast a spell here, right? Sure would. You could step you back. back you would. I would like to shift back there. 
Wow. Shifting is you're just your whole move, right? So it's your movement. All right. There's my movement, and then I'm gonna cast a spell at this big boy. It's gonna be targeting his will. I will cast Hex of Will. Intelligence first will. Here's the attack. I'm gonna put the minus two in there. No. Uh, hero point. God, <laughs> you hold one for or three. Yeah, okay. Forty-one. Gets will. Yes. Good hero point. Here's some damage. It is cold damage. Four. Is it cold and um, fire damage? That's cringe. It, yes, both. And then vulnerable five to all damage. Save ends, and it has a minus two on that save. And then that's my Wham. turn. Kaz. You guys need to, like, add five to your damage. I'm not going to remember. Plus 1d8 plus 5. It's 1d8 plus 10 to all your damage roll. It's, isn't it only weapon? Yeah, weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's only weapons. Yeah, so yep. Beldwin does well, mine is, at least. Yeah. Um, move here. And let's go with... Theory of the Forge. No up attack? Mm. Or... Oh no, he would up attack him, sorry. Alright, I would punch you for doing that. Is it an up attack to an eye up attack? It's, oh, I just uh, have two reactions. I do or have two. two reactions, yeah. Um, this is going to be 32 against AC, guys. Okay. I'm also going to hero point that crit fail. Hit. And hang on. I didn't forget. And also. What's the D10 for? Uh, my marked scourge. Oh wait, no, it's that's a fixed five. Sorry, not the D10. I am confusing my fucking bonus damages. Okay. Okay, let's make it. Okay, okay. Okay. Very nice. Good, good hero point. Good hero point. Whoa. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good D12 rolls. Yep, 12, 9, 11, 9, yeah, that's good. I'll do it, I that the uh, 1d8 plus 5 is already in there. Okay, well, he has uh, ongoing 10 player damage. Does that include the 5 vulnerable? It does not, so it'd be 114. Yeah. Okay, so there's another another plus 5 in there. Um, and then I am going to... Uh, minor action banner of alliance on Plato. Immediate interrupt day. I, I can yeah, take hits for you. Me. I just I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking back to the uh, the big warforged. I mm -hmm. use I use banner of alliance on Beldwin, and then you just got your ass beat. Yep, that did happen. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Okay, so first things first, he teleports here. That's okay. Crump, can he do that? Is he allowed to do that? He is. Okay. I don't have interrupts. <laughs> also, it's he, teleporting. He teleported, not shifted, correct? Yep. He's going to mark Belvin. <laughs> no. 40 against Will, so that's a hit. He, he, is that with a minus yes, two? That is a hit. From being marked? 38 against Will. That'll still hit. Great. Well, I don't have any more interrupts, so... And now, uh, I'm going to become a blender. Is it spin right. to win time? It is. So, Belwin. 42 against AC. That's a hit. Clyde. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, 44 against AC. Is, is, is all of that with the minus two to hit? Yep. Yeah. 44. Um, is that a ranged attack by chance? Sure isn't. Damn it, though. It's... Kramiak. 41 against AC. That's a hit. Kazmiak. 30... Math. Uh, my brain broke. 35 against AC. Yes. damage roll. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to action point do that again. <laughs> Belwin. 41 against AC. Clydo, 41 hit. against AC. Kramiak, 31 against AC. Miss. That's a uh, hit for me. Uh, Kazmiak. 47 against AC. That'll do it. I wish that you would be cover from standing behind me, but this is not a ranged attack, so... <laughs> he simply reaches over top of you. Yep. Yeah. He, he's a True. big boy. And I'm going to save against my ongoing 10 player. Uh, he saves against everything on him. Um, I'm going to cast Dancing Shield on Belvin. Um, is this something I can summon? It is not a summon. Uh, okay. That is a minor action. Well, no one's next to me, so... We're gonna move. I guess eaten off attack. There. Um, and then greater magic weapon. Is there any downsides for doing a range attack close, like right up to him? Other you just than move up. Yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. You want to punch you in the face? Yep. I said I'm gonna eat off attack. Yeah. Uh, forty-two. Yep, that hits. Uh, so, is there any downsides to doing a range attack close, like, right up against him? Not it provokes. Because he uses, he it uses just provokes. Okay. Attack. Well, it doesn't provoke for me because I got a I got a feat for that, but doesn't matter anyways. Greater magic weapon. Did he push me back? No. Oh, I don't know what the fuck happened there then. I was Dude, trying to type. Push. I was trying to type two, and it's just and because it's mm -hmm. arrows. Mm-hmm. Hit. Um, add five damage for uh, for Belden's thing, the vulnerability. He saved out of Belden's thing. Okay. Uh, so the the previous buff that I had is no longer active, but Kazmiak and Kramiak get greater magic weapon buff. And Belden, you want some heals? Um, you can heal yourself. Actually, uh, I'm I okay for now, just because Kazmiak has that thing on me. Um, I will heal myself eventually, but yeah, if I, you I want heals... The, I got the healing for now. I if you do. want heals, I'm, I'm good for that, too. If not, no worries. I have oh, that's your call. Now. You're the healer. No, I'm the healer. Play to, play to the saving throws guy. And the buffer. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. wait. We got that shield on you, too. Yeah, like, if you take too much damage, I can just dig it for you and you're fine. That's my turn. My turn then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's done. No, I, I asked if he's bloodied. Oh. And you would see a symbol on them if you're bloodied. Does it automatically be bloodied? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm right. just gonna put this here. Oh. It, 
Is that does that automatically do damage? I was just gonna put that there for to symbolize the the shield. It does not automatically do damage now. Okay, cool. All right. I am going to strike with the watchful. I assume a 42 is a hit, though I yep. guess 40 because of his presence. Oh, never mind. Cool. Okay, yeah. so I am bloodied. I do a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? so what the thing are you doing? Uh, I am exploding. Beldwin. 34 against Will. Is that with the that must? That will miss. Yeah. Quite a miss. Uh, Krom. What? Oh, what? Okay, okay. Uh, 39 against Will. That's a hit. Kaz. 38 against Will. <laughs> Rain. 35 against Will. Nope. Okay, who did I hit? Crom and Kaz. Just the dwarves? I think so. Okay, you take that much for psychic damage. The psychic? Uh, you both are slowed. Ongoing psychic damage. And you will push three squares. I would Whoa. like to make an op attack. To negate that movement, sir. <laughs> yeah. Or at least mine. I. That's a hit. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, then you take this damage, and I do not move. In fact, and Kazmak, I'm pushing you three squares. I would. I would like to stand my ground. Okay. So you move two. Instead? Yeah, only two. I used to have the boots. I don't have the boots anymore. But it would be two. Push two. Yeah, I don't get pushed at all. Very funny feat, that. Anyways, uh... Is that it? You may continue your turn, yeah. Okay, I would like to minor action, shield my sides. And that is my turn. Rain. Feel free to provoke as much as you like. I get to hit him every time now. Rain, what is the first step on your flowchart? I used the shitty website I ran out of shapes and now they want me to pay for it. <laughs> ran out of shapes. <laughs> ran out of shapes. Making this flowchart is too complicated. There's too much of it. I don't want to do it anymore. Understandable. <sighs> I should have used bonded this last turn. That. Not that. Not that was damage. I'd rather do damage. Damn it. I guess I'm walking up here. Okay, I hit. Miss. You move away I get from to me. punch him in result in retaliation as a free action. You moved away from me willingly. I get to add twelve damage to my attack, bitch. Oh, and also let's throw in Mark Scourge. Extra damage. You need to add that as your macro on your thing. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. I will. Right. Continue. Yeah, Ray is taking a move action. We have two actions left. Wait, could I have gone into a place where I could flank? Be up there. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just... What? Can I move to flank? Uh, sure. I collided with a wall. <laughs> There's a wall there, I can't go there. Oh. Right. I got lazy drawing the... Drawing the barrier around here. Wow. Okay. Oh, I guess we can't go there. Well, this is important. I don't want to. You can go there now. I want all the points. Did anybody do anything special to me while I was looking at this dumb flowchart? <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. This motherfucker. Did I hit him? Yes. Only a hit, though, not a crit. Oh, just... Not too weak. Sad. Does that include combat advantage? There's no combat advantage. Oh wait, You're I, didn't include it. Bloodied. I didn't include it in either one of mine. That's a hit then. Well, there's that. Wait, is this just my... Does this only count for one attack? Gain a bonus of damage rolls against the target until the end of your next turn. Okay, so both of them get the plus 12. And he is slowed. Save ends. But it was cold damage, so it wasn't as potent. You done? But my weapon does fire damage somehow? Not anymore. No? Okay. Nope, not anymore. Alright. Is that your turn? Yep. Goblin. I would like to delay to go after Kazmiak. Kazmiak. Um, okay, I'm going... You said you want some opportunity attacks to run? Sure. And... Is this slow, uh, save end? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I'll stick your channel on going to Psychic. Yes. Here. Alright, would I have gotten to save against that at the end of my turn, then? Yes. Oh, wait. I thought you were talking about his slow. Yeah, the slow from the spin. No, I, I mean, the one that I just put oh, on. Oh, no. I thought about my right. own slow. So, you moved up, which provokes an up attack. Right? If he wants Which to take it. I get to hit Match him. roll 20! I get to hit you as a free action. Nineteen. Right, how much damage is that gonna be? Do you get to know? I... It, for something, yeah. Uh, hang on, what was it? The protection uses power when an ally adjacent. Oh, I guess he wouldn't be adjacent to me when that hits. Never mind. You good. Uh, you do have greater magic weapon active, right? Yes. The plus seven in there. Um, okay, well, I'm going to. Oh no, it's a plus five. Web, uh, web damage. Yep. 
uh, I'm going to do Mending Beldwin. So 18 plus Surge. Uh, everyone else gets plus 12 healing. Uh, Odin will get 9 temps. And the uh, plus 6 to damage rolls. Oh lord. And I'm going to... Do I actually get hit by this? By the heal, yeah. So I can just hit apply healing? Uh, no, 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 you just get plus 12. You get a flat oh, plus okay. 12. Yep. Um, and... Bird of healing assault on Krom a Rain. Now I get to make a melee basic. Make a melee, melee basic. That did not happen in our A melee basic? If you'd like, you can spend a healing surge plus 2d10. I don't think this is applying my damage modifiers, actually. I have a bonus to damage of plus 11. What the fuck? Does my thing still count? Yeah, it's not in yes. there. Yes. Till the, till the end of my next turn? Wait. No. Because if he moves away from me, and then I take my turn, that's the end of my next turn, right? Correct. Yeah. So my 12 is gone now. Yes. To damn it. Okay. Did I hit right. him? Yes. You gonna, you gonna heal, Crown? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, how much is the healing? Uh, hang on here. That much plus surge. Surge, gain healing surge value plus. Sure. A bit much, but. Sure as numbers. Sure as um. numbers. That means I spent a healing surge, so I gain temp HP and my. Uh, my tattoo takes up. My turn, I'm gonna roll for my. Blow and ongoing. Wait a bit. Hold on. Oh, it still wasn't enough. Ooh. Uh, Kaz, you'll be okay, right? Yeah, probably. He's next to me. He's fine. Okay. You have temps right now? I do not have temps. Okay. I'm gonna interrupt. Oh. I can use if he gets hit too. It'll save some help at least. Okay. I will use Improved Glorious Presence to make an attack roll against this man's. Um, so they're bloodied now. Does that mean the minus two goes away? Yep. Yes. Okay, so just a straight roll here. 37 against Will. Please re-roll that. With the minus two penalty. All right. Adding the minus two and re-rolling. That's funky. Even uh -huh. lower? Miss. Alright. No damage. Um, but I can't. That was him do... doing that, and that wasn't clear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he made me re roll, I see. Yeah, that wasn't me just being I... weird. I no. thought that maybe, like, the, the power rolled weird. Okay, thank you for clarifying. I'm no, no, that was the him. Secondary him he burst. made you do that. Okay, I see. Um,. Kazmiak, I'm going to use my Tome Power to extend the burst to three for your square, so you should be able to get this. Chromiak and Clado can also get those temps, but I think maybe you guys have some. Uh, I, I have temps. five. I'm taking 16 over five. Thank you. And then minor action, I'm going to total defense. Forgot, you can do that in this game, right? Not that is a standard action to total defense. I really feel like I have says. a. I don't. No, I'm not a dwarf. Uh, that's my turn. No dwarf. Yeah. No, no defensing. 
I thought you had something that you told defense. Uh, it lets me get a plus two. It's basically this is what I have. I have I, when I use my second win, I can. Oh, okay. I get to make a saving throw or something like that. All right, hello, it's me. John Video Games. Are you doing okay, buddy? You're wiggling a lot. The wiggly boy. He keeps like burrowing, trying to like rub his nose against my arm. I think He's his nose is cold. Trying to get comfy. His nose is cold. I have a cat on my chest. If that wasn't clear. What's pretty clear? Okay. He's cold because you keep your apartment at sixty-eight. Yeah. Mine's yeah, at sixty-six. <laughs> Mine's at seventy-seven. I would. I would die. I would die. <laughs> but I would die if it was anything below this. I mean, Eldwin, if it's below that, 40. you can like, put a blanket on. But I... I can only like, take off so many clothes before I run out of things to take off. Slido, 42. What is Chromiac, that? miss. 42 against what? Spinning. AC. Spinning. Okay. Oh, that hits. Kazmiak. Yeah. Is that all with the minus two? 45, yeah. Oh, but you, you crit me, didn't you? When I yes. moved last turn, yeah. Oh, I should have my healing. That'll hit Meldwin, oh. too. When, when's regen take effect? At the start of your turn. Start of. But uh, that was. Uh, uh, if, if that hits Kazmiak, I'm going to use this. So Kazmiak gets resist 10 of that damage and gains 10 attempts. After the attack is resolved, so use my current temps and then get more temps. Yep. Yep. Okay, get ten health back and gain ten temps. Okay, gonna spin again. Belwin, forty against AC. I uh, don't miss. Chromiac, forty-one against AC. That's a hit. Oh wait, Kaz... no, I shielded, I shielded side. Sorry, it's not a hit. Cringe. Uh, Kaz, 39. Uh, uh. Is it 39 to hit? I'm gonna build the fiends that. Oh, okay. Then that was a miss. Is it? Just, All right. just, just curious for you know you uh you cut out there what was the question I said, I said is the attacker a devil <laughs> he is not <laughs> okay um I'm gonna use my movement action to move the shields to Kazmiak uh so Kaz gets plus four um to some stuff uh to AC and reflex <laughs> uh then I'm gonna heal Kazmiak and he can also make a healing save. Oh, uh, saving throw. Yep, saving throw. That's what I meant. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's technically healing a healing save. save. You're doing both. And then I'm going to uh, siphon fate the dude. With my arm bow. Um, I get combat advantage. I think that's it. Very nice. And then I get uh, plus five because I'm standing still and he is next to my allies. Okay. And... Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted to do the bond to transfer and get the shit off of Chromiac. Whatever, too late. It's cool. <laughs> my John Mad uh. thing might have actually been funny. Fuck. Um... Yeah, so then I guess I'll choose, uh, what is it, bonus to attack and defenses. Um, we'll put that on Chromiac, because no. he's right in front of him. Sure. And target gets negative two penalty to attack rolls and all defenses. Lean him on my next turn. Oh, penalty to defenses. Very cool. That's my turn. It's my turn, then. That was technically a ranged attack if you would 
like to do a, uh, a thing, I will allow uh, it. But, I mean, actually, can can I? He will allow it. So I have this feat. Like, can I just allow it to happen? Oh my god. Don't. Don't. <laughs> just. It's fine. It's okay. not worth it. Okay. It's not, yeah, I'm not doing it then. I'm not allowing it. Okay. It'll do right. to you, then it'll do to him. Right. Uh, so at the start of my turn, I'll take the... What is it? Mm-hmm. Ten ongoing? Ten psychic damage, yeah. Okay, I have resist four against that damage. Oh, resist seven, sorry. I have resist seven to all damage, so... I can resist him to all damage. I'll just... <laughs> oh, my I'll hammer shield. put my temp HP to 13 and then remove that Ironheart to two bonus two. Where's where's cool. where's what's and... his name? Plimbo. Who's... I will not. What the fuck was that? Plimbo. What the fuck is that from? I've heard that before. Cult of the Lamb. Forty-two. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, these cute that's... voices. Mm-hmm. That is five too much damage. Uh, actually, no, it's, that works perfectly. I'm gonna mark Scourge it, making it 44. Okay, cool. He's a cute little salesman. Right, that's my turn. You have a human movement left if you want to fly to the, the left one. Oh, sure. So I can be adjacent to both of you. Sure. Right, uh, and turn. Rain? Yeah. Oh. But then I was going to say one of my other favorite things oh. is when... Uh, also, same. Is when Is when you make your followers go... I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, yes. No, it's a... You skip it to me. Oh. You skip it to me, I and think, I, I think, think it's because I made button. noises. Crom like hit it. the interim button. Yeah. God damn it. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Don't ever sorry. hit that button. You're not helping. Either all of you need to hit that button, or none of you need to hit that button. <laughs> and there's and an end turn button. Don't forget. Yeah. So, On the combat yeah. Token. There's a Remember? it's a big fat button at the bottom of the <laughs> turn order. Yeah. It's very tempting to hit it, but don't hit it. Let's see, I only have radiant damage left. Feels bad, man. I guess I'll use the four weapon attack one, though. See target. I don't think I have any bonuses. No, you oh, make destruction kill. What's that do? Plus six damage. Nothing to attack. Wait, do we have combat advantage now? That yeah, is- mm-hmm. we're flanking. Ooh. You're flanking with me. He's bloodied. That's it. Yep. Oh, hey. Nice. Oh, hey. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> he just fucking dies. I forgot <laughs> the- God damn. I Encounter the... counter power, by the way. I forgot the eight. <laughs> I forgot the eight. I think it was eight. Okay. But- uh, is he in death knell range for him? So, <laughs> I think he's no, just, I'm just dead. Kidding. I'm just, that's a joke. He's, he's an angel. I'm not taking his soul. I couldn't even take his soul if I wanted to. I'm not Sky. I'm so, not Sky. Uh, I swear. Okay. If you didn't want to take his soul, she just wanted to put it in the little, the little mine cage. Uh-huh. She, she wanted to put him in She wanted to put jail. it in a soul cage. <laughs> and extract little bits of his hum- of his life force out of it to do horrible things with it. As you do. As you do. Uh, as you strike him, your blade passes through him, seeming to do nothing. He goes, Very well. You've proven yourselves. Step up to the altar and... That's me. Never mind, he kills you. Oh. You are rain. Altar is over there. Oh. 
There you go. D- double dead. <laughs> Minus dead. Rain looks pretty good with the skull on on, on the on the. <laughs> uh, the fucking young dab over here. Step up to the altar. I'll take then, a knee. Uh, a gift. Sorry, I did the Velcro thing. He uh goes and a gift for passing this trial. He vanishes. On the altar is a a cloth thingy. A cloth thingy. It's a rag. More than sweat rag. It's the thing he uses to wipe his brow after yeah. a long day at the forge. There you go. Mind patterned robe of necrotic resistance. Neat. I already have resistance twenty to necrotic, so somebody else. Is that a is that a slot or is that just a wonder? It's armor. Oh, it's armor. Yeah, it's it's a robe. I assumed it's light armor. It is. Yeah, it's cloth. What do you have to resist 20 necrotic from? Um, I'm a death angel or some shit? I don't know. Let's I'm see. a death angel or some shit. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. You ignore 20 necrotic resistance. Oh, oops. Sorry. Other way around. I murder people with necrotic resistance. But I just got armor, so... Is there any, like, enhancement bonus to that? Or would it be written down if there was? Yeah, it should. Hold on. I got it this. Is right? There's a plus something? I don't... Oh, there was not. I no. forgot to change the text. I'm sorry. No, it's, uh... Hold on. Let me, uh, try this again. How's that? <laughs> oh, plus six. Mm. Um, if... No one else would like that. I would like to roll for that. You don't wear cloth armor. This oh. is a robe. Never mind. I would definitely be rolling for it. Well, there. So that I have that, and I wear light armor, and I don't. I I want this because it's an Avenger thing. So yeah, you would gain one AC to put in off gate ups. Bell My... would gain like. Oh, two. because it's light, right? Yeah, yeah. He would gain one as well. You're wearing, you're rocking plus four armor still. <laughs> yeah. So this is so this cloth armor has it's a has a plus six bonus and then an AC bonus from the material. I forget. There's like if it's a certain type of weave that it gives AC. It's all programmed in automatically on it. Okay. The the. The special material typically gives like a non AC defense. So it would give you a plus two bonus to your AC. Because um, these robes actually do give you a plus one bonus to AC. And they also it also gives you a plus two bonus to will. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, Clido, I'd like to um, try this on. It is yours. Are they, are they appropriately sized for a gnome? I mean, it's magic, so yes. Can I just, <laughs> can I try this one more time? Sorry, I don't remember how to talk to yourself. At first, it looks like oversized PJs, and then it shrinks it to shrinks straight belt. Down. Yep. He just tucks it. <laughs> it's a little. <laughs> what does Gimli say? Oh, it's a bit tight around the midsection. I would never accuse Johnny Stavies of having to have a Scottish accent. <laughs> Type across the chest. Uh, putting this in my inventory. Deleting it from the loot. Okay, and when you put it on, there you go. Are you seeing a little too higher? Perfect. Poggers. Ready. My doggers. Oh, my reflex dropped a lot. Uh, did it? Hold on, I might have fucked this up. Do you have a lot of reflex on his old armor piece? There you go. No, it just wasn't Marcus. You you weren't Marcus proficient with it. 
Which is why it knocked your uh, defenses down. You should be good if it should be good now. Yeah, looks like it. Yep, Fort yes. and Ref are staying the same. Okay. And then you have to go into your effects tab, probably and give yourself a fifteen bonus to uh necrotic resistance. All right, we good. Alrighty, we got the drip. I'm gonna take a short rest here. Yes, I, I would something. like to heal. It's happening when we approach the altar, though. Uh, the, the cough was on it. I mean, the altar is humming with divine energy, Casmiac. You're pretty in tune with it. Uh, you think you could activate this somehow when you were ready? We, we may rest then. Can you bleed this? Let's go see. Thank you. Uh, Alright, I am healing up. Um, um, healing surge. How do you do healing surge again? Is there like a button for that somewhere? Short rest. Oh no, I was going to do it for my um, healing right. infusion because I'm going to spend it for heal. that. On, uh, that. Oh, up your surge. Heal. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend two more surges to fill up again. And when I start getting down low, I'll take more from other people instead. I'm gonna BRB one second. Get my food. I was gonna ask if we could do our break here. I would rather do our break in a bit. Okay. Harley's Is that gonna, okay? Harley's bugging me because he wants more food. Yeah, I'm gonna be like two seconds. That's cool. Didn't eat his. And I want more coffee. Please hold out because of reasons. My other groups don't break. When I told them to take a two hour break, they're like, what the fuck? Why? So people just get up and do things? I mean, if stop? they need to, but most of the time they don't. Four hours is not like a, an unusual time to expect someone to sit. I can't. I have a dog. <laughs> A very needy dog. I don't usually use the break to do anything, but it is nice to have in case I need like take a shit or something. <laughs> also, to make my to provide for my insatiable coffee habit. I'm doing coffee tonight too. It's but a three day I... weekend. Let's get wild on coffee. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Oh Ooh, three day three weekend. Day weekend. For what? Memorial Day. Memorial right? Day is on Monday. Oh. It's, it's okay, Kados. I don't have one either. We had our three-day weekend last weekend, but I worked on Monday. I have a three-day weekend this week, and then a three-day weekend in like three weeks, and then a three-day weekend like two weeks after that. Yeah. The Memorial Day, and then yeah, three weeks later is Juneteenth, and then two weeks later is Fourth of July. I only get four holidays. That's why we need to get you out of there, Alter. They, they just, every time this, a holiday comes up, they're like, reminder, we don't give you this holiday. You need to use your PTO on the holiday if you want the holiday off. They actually give you reminders that they don't give you holidays? Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. That okay. Is insane. Just a reminder. You, you could have this day off, you but fuck want you. Holiday. <laughs> Please edit that part out. It's cool. I know you what am I editing now? I just got back. I was talking about my work, how they don't give me Memorial Day, and how, like, two weeks ago they reminded us that Memorial Day is not a holiday that we're given. If we want it off, we have to take PTO, and if we want to take PTO, you have to say so now, or else you're not getting PTO, because this is- they also scheduled a deadline for ARC on Memorial Day. 
our sprint ends on Monday. So okay. they're just triply extra shitty about it. Because like Kdaz was saying, they actually tell you that you're- they actually remind you that you're not getting a holiday. <laughs> It has been marked and will be discarded, discarded into the void. Good. You know about... I guess you don't. What? Know about what? If you're going to keep your job. Oh, no. I have no idea. Because my friend told me that uh, he's a lead, and only the leads and like the, the higher-ups know about it, and it was either my boss spouting off some shit, or... Something that nobody else is allowed to know about. So he's like, don't tell anybody. I'm guessing it's your boss spouting off some shit. I hope so. Sounds like they like to do that. Because this has happened before, and they never sued them. So, like, what are they, like, what? You're gonna, you're gonna cut every employee that you just hired because... Of something that has happened repeatedly in the past. Because this has happened before. They didn't pay us before. For a long time. We're giving acceptable too many things to edit out. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit! I got my first Etsy sale. Nice. I made a whole $2.50. What'd you sell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fucking AI pattern shit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Like, um, tiling patterns. For what? Um, they use it for, like, um, scrapbooking and crafts and stuff, but it's just, like, cool tiling tiling textures. You can use them for anything. Use them for, like, game dev and stuff. Uh, here, I'll, I'll link my store if you guys wanted to check it out. Let me show real quick. Oh my god, your AI generating repeatable textures. Yeah! I'm gonna <laughs> lose my job, you asshole! That's what I do! I make those! Well, maybe you should make them and sell them on Etsy, too, then. No! Why not? Who's gonna fucking buy that? Apparently Someone somebody. Did. Yeah. Somebody. You got... It's so easy to make, like... I know it is, you got... But I, I don't think the time investment is worth one sale every now and then. Well, you, you, you put the time investment up front. It takes, like, half an hour to an hour tops to make a whole pack. And then you just leave it, and Etsy does all the marketing and shit for you. Like, you literally have to do nothing after you upload it. I guess it's because I, like, I'm like, I would never pay for this myself. And then... Yeah. Well, someone someone wants it. And then somebody... Somebody does use it, though. I usually go out of my way to find free stuff, though. Mm -hmm. Earthen Pack 2 Maybe. was the one that sold. Neat. Should we continue it so Alter can get break? Did you? I don't see you marking them as AI anywhere. Did I not? I thought I did. Uh oh. Did I put it in the descriptions? He lied. Oh shit! It's all <laughs> over my. It's all over my social media. I I could have swore that I put it in the, in the descriptions. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for pointing that out. <laughs> fucking scam. <laughs> Wow, this person put a lot of effort into it. No, they didn't. <laughs> mid journey, do they require accreditation under? It's not mid journey. Oh, would would you use Dolly? Stable diffusion. Stable diffusion. Do they require? Local. Oh wait, they're the one that doesn't really require anything, right? They it's it's a anything. local. It's a local thing installed on my own computer. So do you even have to say it's AI? No, but it's the Ethically, right thing to do. Ethically, you should. Yeah. I know, but. You don't have to know, but it's the right thing to do. And it I'm is going the right to. thing to do, but by putting that there, you're gonna make people like you're gonna make artists not want to buy it. So be it. Okay. So that was my scummy business take. I agree that you should put it there, but you okay. know what I'm saying. I just had yeah. to say that. Okay, mo new mark, new mark. This is all one big market. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we rested, we got the cloth. You activate the altar? I, I will, uh, yes. I'm in with the altar. Thank you. 
ってます。Uh-oh. That's a place. Ooh. Shit. That's cool. Sure is. You find yourselves in front of a a thing. Yeah. Something like a clockwork planetary ish. Does this feel like a vision or like we were teleported and transported? You feel like you were teleported. Mm. See a large, uh, slow moving clockwork contraption. Uh, every piece intricately and perfectly crafted. It's like, being... oh, the walkway around the outside here? Yeah. I'd like to give an arcane musings into this and to discern its nature and purpose. If you'd allow me to roll arcana. I can't stop you. The right. 46. Uh, this massive clockwork device seems to be sort of channeling and interpreting the natural magics of the Astral Sea. To what end, you know, aren't necessarily sure. It's quite amazing. No, is that something that we can walk on top of, or like, is it go down, like, into the gears and stuff? That that's a drop there. Okay. Well, uh, walk around the edge. Yeah, walk here. So, as you guys are clunking around, uh, there is a bit of a faint whoop. As a figure appears. Yeah. Yeah. Looks over at you all. Dropped my knee immediately. I was expecting to see you all here. I'm gonna whisper in Baldwin's ear. Thought he was gonna be. You cut out there. Cut out. I think you said taller, though. I'm pretty sure you said taller. I said smaller. I said he's smaller than I was expecting. Yeah. He has Michael, so, uh, speaking of. Same. Oh, it's not necessary. Please stand up. You're all here doing a good service to well, a lot of us. Stand. It is my pleasure to be graced with your presence, oh great uh, creator. Hmm. Oh, Clyde was right. It is indeed an honor. You can step closer. He's kind of like standing in the middle of the air. As you like step out like sheets of metal like appear under your feet like that scene from X-Men 2. Ooh, with Magnina. I do a little little run around in a circle. Try to outrun the sheets of metal. No. <laughs> uh, this isn't Fall Guys, Kaleido. I'll take me as I get closer. Oh, Okay. Just from doing that, I suppose. I uh, have some idea of why you're here. Looking for a way into the Shadowfell, aren't you? Yes. I were uh, we're afraid something has happened to uh, the Raven Queen, and mm, yes. with nefarious intent. Yes, she has gone silent. Many expect her dead, but we don't know. Busy with other matters. There has been much 
conflict and threat of conflict lately. But speak for all my gifts, prophecy is not one of them. Yes, we have experienced much conflict ourselves as of late. We hope to prevent more conflict from occurring. I. How do you aim to do that? With conflict. <laughs> well, it's hard to defeat evil with the power of friendship and love. My, uh, I got a notice from one of our customs officers that mentioned you might have another issue you wish to discuss. Yeah, I, on our way here, we actually lost several of our comrades, and we thought maybe you would have more information as to what happened or where mm. they might be. I can give you their names. I might but explain maybe you some know things. Who I speak of. Ah. Like I said, prophecy is not one of my talents, or his foresight, or his telepathy. But I might explain some of what we've seen. Tell me about these people. They were friends. all, and they were all species of our nemesis. They, they shared the same species of our nemesis, and our nemesis appeared as if they had achieved divine power and seemingly took them to their own realm. They were all um, was... outcasts of a sort from their own people, or so we thought. There was a drow, an orc, a human who had Asmodeus's power painting through his blood, and what was the last one that's taken? Dragonborn. A vampire. And a dragonborn. A vampire is the drow. Fucked up, friendly. Hmm. Certainly. This could be that. If your friends are still alive, uh, protected surges of energy from four different... What's a term you mortals might use? Islands, I think would be a good analogy. Different sort of pocket dimensions in the Astral Sea. Each primarily under the domain of one of the patron deities of those you speak. With the wave of his hand, the machine around you starts whirring and spinning. There is a, a hunting ground often used by Grumpsch. It's a place called the Dire Break. It is a Savage and violent, but very verdant plain. It's likely I'm going to associate with him. I'd go there, your orc friend. Hey. Did that show? All, all right, by the way? What show? What? Uh, let's try it again. Oh, oh. Okay, this showed. Yes, yeah. no, I see. Okay, right. Sorry. Uh, as for your dragonborn friend, is likely star surgeon one of uh, Tiamat's more well, less hospitable uh, domains, a place inhabited by a particular type of her kin, a place known as the White Wastes. He, the machine wars again and shows you a vision of this place instead. Not off. Oh, 
Well, at least the gander is uh, frost, so. He should not freeze to death, I hope. <laughs> Asmodeus has many things under his control, but we saw a similar surge at a fetid swamp. I took Axios to Florida? <laughs> a place known as the Deathless Rot. God damn it, they right. took him to Florida! That's no place for him, but... As for your drow friend, she probably isn't very popular. Because there is a place... Uh, a punishment realm of Loths. Known as Traitor's End, a serpentine network of caves housing massive beasts. Oh, Lord. If you are searching for your friends, there would be the places to start looking. Excellent. Thank you for that wonderful insight. <clears throat> May I ask, do you perhaps know if they are working with the deities? Have they no. betrayed us? I can't tell you that. I don't know. The uh, My vision does not extend beyond what I've told you. I understand. Uh, one way or the other, they're, they're important to uh, the powers who be, which makes them uh, important to us, I think. Hmm. Yeah, they wouldn't. Have, they wouldn't have taken them, taken them if uh, they didn't have some part to play. Casmic, uh, come here, my boy. I think you uh, have something of mine. I, I have. Uh, I have quite a few runes here. I'm not sure, which ones? Uh, in particular, I think you know which one I'm talking about. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Uh, take out the, the rune of Genesis. Extend it towards him. Uh, no. Take someone special to understand these things. You have potential, young man. But, uh, here, let me show you a thing. Uh, place a hand on your head. Just... It's been a long time since Kazmiak's been called my boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> Let's see. You've gained further understanding of the rune. Gain access to a new ability. I love new abilities. Let's see if this drags properly. It did. New ability is in chat, and also on your character sheet. Ooh. Two effects simultaneously. So if I did destruction and protection? Yeah, you would get both effects of a, a power. Or you could, you know, enter protection and, yeah, one you know, the other ones, but... elemental ones. Yeah, those two were the only ones that would... Would overlap on a, on a power like that. Yeah. Neat. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Yeah. The uh, you know, you know, I was just fooling around the other day, and I made something, and I don't want it. So. Although you, Glytotactus, I think might get some use out of it. Oh. He hands you a pair of boots. Boots from my god. They're on your loot list. Amazing. It's like Quite he's literally 
boots from the person that made you. I mean, dead. Gave you his soul. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else built him, but we're gonna give him soul. There you go, like Kato. He, it's like he's Oz, and I'm suddenly Thank. looking for a curtain. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Thank you. No, oh, don't mention it. We will uh, uh, we'll do our best to use them uh, for a good purpose. I uh, imagine you will. Them. And I don't think this will be the last time we see each other. I'll be needing some of your talents in the near future. As I mentioned, there's been ruminations of conflict and... None of us dares act directly against the other gods for risk of breaking the the truce, as it were. If one of us were to directly act, then, well, it would open the gates for a, a war in heaven, as it were. So, I think, as the other ones are using uh, emissaries, pawns, champions, perhaps... I believe that is what you'll need to be for the rest of us. And you've been doing a, a damn fine job of it so far, if I do say so myself. Oh, you're, is, too, you're too kind. Mm, doing what we can. But, yes, I will begin working on your Shadowfell issue. See to your friends, traitors, whatever they may be, and return here. And we'll get you into the shadow of hell. Excellent. Have, uh, it is the greatest honor to be considered a champion of Moradin. You may call upon me anytime you wish. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, give it a tug and your soul come loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that already happened uh, not too long ago, so his, oh, yeah? his soul's a little, uh, a little rattling around in there a bit, I think. I do. Oh, well, you know. Most the most bombastic side <laughs> he's ever seen. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, happens to the best of us. Have a, uh, a strong feeling. You cut out. I have a, uh, a strong suspicion where we'll be heading first, though, and I'll kind of look back at Rain. <laughs> Swamp. <laughs> Swamp. <laughs> Off to Florida. <laughs> Audrey Sage. Also muted for some reason. Um, because Harley's whining at me for food every two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. Is there a, a travel advisory to uh, to a little swamp? <laughs> I mean, it's not a nice place. Or not, place. not a little also, swamp. Asmodeus is a swamp. Is a swamp. Yeah. Weird that yeah, he's a swamp. The swamp ass. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys can decide where you're going. Florida. Sure. The I deathless mean, rot. Axios was the first right. one with us from, from the four of them, and he's been our closest ally, was, so I think that he was also, makes sense. You know, he's, he's a man of the cloth. He was kind of... He's the least likely to have been a traitor out of them, I feel. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll take our break here. You can you can go away, Alter. K-dubs. Mm -hmm. Something of note. You don't have two pieces of a set. Oh, is that an artificer set? Uh, artificers, your artificer's belt and those propellant boots Neat. are part of the Tinkerer's Invention set. Uh, since you have two pieces of it, uh, whenever you use your Healing Infusion class feature, draw an allow an ally to regain hit points. The ally regains additional hit points equal to the number of items you have from this set. So oh, two. So two. <laughs> awesome. A two HP is two HP. Yep. Funky. If you get all four pieces, you get the Tinker's Disjunction power, which is an at will standard action uh, that lets you automatically end one zone that you are within or one conjuration you are adjacent to. In addition, mm. all its effects end, including those normally last into a save. That's pretty good. Very powerful. That also kind of uh, suits my um, my heroic thing, like controlling zones and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, let's see. The other ones you'll need to get is Gauntlets of Magical Interchange, which uh, you guys can uh, you'll probably have to buy. 
<clears throat> which lets you daily minor action use arcane empowerment on an item. Mm -hmm. uh, in combat. Uh, and then there's an armor suit called a tinker suit. But anyway. Um, uh, oh, that recharges daily, right? So. Cool. Morgan is also. He also gives you some money. Thanks, Dad. Our allowance. And you guys can shop here if you'd like. Oh, hey. Uh, not here, but like, you know, on the mountain. Yeah. The, Very good. He gives us Morden bucks, and we can only spend them at his shop here on the, yeah. on the clock. Yeah, <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Okay, so uh, is there anything else you want to talk to Morden about at at present? I'm sure that Clido could sit here all day. Yep, I would like to just chat with him about how he created the Warforged and why he created the Warforged and what his plans are for the Warforged and what he thinks about the other Warforged that was made by that other dude and so all in kinds other of stuff. words, he's gonna be like a five year old child. And Morden's just gonna keep saying things, and Clay's just gonna be like, "But why? <laughs> but why? Why?" I make very good use of this time with my, with the creator. Clyde, we have uh, we have very important matters to attend to. You can uh, this is all said and over. I'm sure he'll let you come back, and you guys can talk about whatever you. Want. But uh, time time may be of this. No. Yes, yes, I understand. It is not every day we get to meet our creator, though. I know, I know. Say your, say your goodbyes. We'll have to be we'll have to be going. I look forward to your return and good luck. Thank you again. Thank you. Clyde's suddenly wearing shorts that are four inches higher than his knees. A little bow tie. With a propeller cap on? Yeah. People spin. Now lollipop. Now tell the good man goodbye. Goodbye, father. Hey, Catcher didn't get to meet Morden. That's fucked up. That is kind of fucked up. Fucked up, yeah. What's up with that? Oh, see, I'm not one of the main characters, so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't chosen by God. Just happy That's... to be here. That's true. Did he, uh, did he, he, he give us directions to these places? By any chance? Uh, yeah, you know where they are. Hey, I'll, I'll, send the, I'll send the coordinates down to your ship. Boop, boop, boop. Input it into the, the navigator or whatever. Yeah, just open up the, uh, the fucking, fucking traveler's almanac. The the a APS astral position is apps. It's good. Yes. So you said that we can do shopping here. Um, is that like right now only, or can we come back in between zones? I mean, you can like you're doing it now, but like you can do it over the week. Also, Kate, I want to mention that you didn't talk to me about boat upgrades during the week. I know, I know. I thought about that like right before the before the session started. I will try and remember next time. Yeah, yeah. except that we're going to do Pathfinder next week. All right, and it's almost a shame. I'd like almost rather just like put Pathfinder on permanent hold until we finish this. No. But I'm not going to do that. But I, 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 I'm, I'm a big fan of how much progress we've made over the past few weeks. But anyway. It's progress. So you guys appear back here. And then you, he goes, oh, you're back. Uh, did everything go all right? Yeah. Pretty good. It was yes. amazing. We have good news. We have location of where we need to go to find Sarah, Stigander, Rolak, and Axios. So, we're going to go do that first before, or while Moradin works on a method for us to get to the Shadowfell. Okay. And who first? Well, 
we all chose as a group. Uh, what did what do we choose? Axios. Axios, right? Axios, yes. Because he is in a swamp. We just chose him randomly. You know, we didn't. We didn't. We tried. Oh, so, so he he's favorites. the favorite. Okay. No, I no, no, no. Others no, know that. Uh, oh, you know how when they had to pick, they picked him first. You know, I, I just got a question. If I was taken, would you get me first? Yes, you are in VAR. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay, no now, yes. pick between Livia and I. Who gets rescued first? Uh, uh, Livia well, is kind of an uh, angel. It's a planer. I, I, I apologize to Livia, but uh, it's not a choice at all. <laughs> I understand. About oh, family. Is. She is your shotgun wife. Shotgun wife, let's go. <laughs> what is a shotgun, by the way? <laughs> Good question. Probably like more, more like Damia. It is a mechanical oh. boomstick for explosives. What is a mechanical boomstick? It is a tube that shoots explosives. It's a handheld cannon. There, there is guns in this world, right? Very oh. rudimentary, yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, very rudimentary, style. yet we have a giant fucking laser beams shooting shit out of the sky and blast That's orders. magic! <laughs> it, exactly. yeah, it's like that, except not magic. No, I just uh, said yeah. it's a handheld cannon! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Alright, well... Back to, uh, back to the ship. What came first, the shotgun or the shot glass? Good With the question. shot glass. We just drink out of giant oversized mugs. I think it's an elvish invention. <laughs> ah, it would be the pussies. What? what? <laughs> yeah, actually, I did forget to pussies. fill up my. Uh, water. Can't Just even handle a whole whole stein of alcohol. Got to put it in the dinky little glass. A leaf lovers. <laughs> this should. Real men drink one one mug of super strong beer and then wake up in the medical ward. <laughs> yeah, on your way out, the uh, officer Jenny hands you guys a uh, an exit questionnaire. Oh, nice. full survey. So, how was your stay in uh, on Mount Celestia? Pretty good. Very inviting. Uh, we expect to be back soon. It was uh, a, a bit brief. But... Uh, glad to hear it. Uh... Would you like to visit the gift shop before you go? Uh, honestly, yeah. What did they sell at yes. the gift shop? Well, there's this t-shirt that says, I came to the mountain that where the gods live, and I only got this crappy t-shirt. <laughs> I'll take, like, ten of those. That would be Another one that says, be back soon, and then, like, a little gravestone. Uh -huh. Do you have a variety oh. pack of, like, a bunch of different ones? Oh, sure, of course. I'll take I'll take some of them. Are you going to sell those on the material plane? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them as gifts to my to my sisters. Uh, you have, you have ten sweet. sisters. Look, you go to beautiful places like this. They're gonna ask me all about it, and instead of having to explain it, I'm just gonna throw that T-shirt in their face. When this is by board and beard. <laughs> All right. Adding novelty T-shirts to my inventory, <laughs> <laughs> but it has it has a like a, a picture of a beard on it, so it looks like you have a beard. Yeah. Oh, good. There, there is a there is also a uh, like a a winter hat that has a big beard to cover your face. Just attached. Nice. Yeah. Those are, those are um, real things. Okay. I will be right back. I need to fill my water. I'm sorry. This was Mount Celestia, right? Yep. I've seen those, those little like face masks, but they're actually knitted. So it looks like a beard when you put it on. I hate those because all that I think about is I used to snowboard a lot, and my nose would run. So I'm like, that upper lip thing yeah, is going to be snotty. soaked. 
Yeah, it's gonna be soaked in snot. It's the same with like the ski mask. Yeah. Ugh, that's the worst. Like your hot breath blown against fabric that's warmed on one side and then wet because it's your humid breath, but then it's cold and frigid outside, and then the exterior is Look at that one. frozen. Oh. Got a little fro on there, a little, little faux hawk. Th those threads feel like they should fall down. Yeah. They don't they don't feel like they would be that stiff. Got to put some gel in there. <laughs> some gel in your knit hat. Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm in a rabbit hole now. They keep getting bigger. That was actually pretty good. Like I did not look happy to be wearing it though. Well, he's, he's role-playing a dwarf, that's why. <laughs> Always grow. Always. How to grow a beard on the cheeks. Strategies, issues, and myths. Strategies to grow a beard? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it just inject yourself with testosterone? Or have be, be born with the uh, follicles in the proper positions on your face? Have a nutsack? <laughs> Good genes. What are genes? have to do <laughs> so, so stupid. my jeans I only like my jeans with holes in them frayed teared and bleached acid wa acid wash just like my asshole <laughs> I see I see oh this this dude's into it though That's a good one. That brings me back to um, World of Warcraft character customization, where you get oh. to pick your beard as a dwarf. What? We're just talking about beard dwarves and dwarf beards. And beard beards and dwarf dwarfs. Exactly. And beard hats. <laughs> Okay. So. Uh, you guys are heading off. Let's see. To the fetid swamp? Yeah. Oh, like death, death, rock. Deathless. Deathless rock. Deathless rock. Deathless rock. All right. It is. And this is a place for like punishment, right? Oh no, that was Loth's then was a punishment. And this doesn't seem like a particularly nice yeah. place to be. Yeah, I think they, you got sent both. here for a vacation. Welcome to Brazil. <laughs> I go to America.
There. All right. So, it is uh, about a week's sail uh, towards this place. I hope we stocked up on oranges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are safe from scurvy. Uh, good, good. Scurvy is deadly. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Time and distance mean. They don't mean nothing, but they're certainly less important here than they are in the material plane. But eventually, you do uh, arrive at the edge of a uh, at the edge of this plane. As you cross the border, you're the swamp comes into view. Immediately, your ship loses uh, its flight. kind of crashes down into the water. It's not damaged or anything. But... It's a good thing it's, it's still a boat at heart. Yes. It lands in the uh, the fetid water, and there is... Well, those of you who have noses, uh, that stench of decay and, well, rot here. Oh. Great. The ship can only take you so much further before there is no further way for it to go. Uh, before you is land ho swamp. Yeah, they they is a set of patchy islands far too close together for. Uh, <coughs> I'm dying for your ship to pass through, but so it looks like you're going the rest of the way on foot. Well, hmm. well hopefully this isn't a Valheim swamp. It super is. Ah, fuck. Speaking of uh, boat upgrades, you know we we need some sea champ for our next uh, next traveling manta. Um. I think I actually, like, have some somewhere. A new darkest dungeon sea shanty. Yeah, there's a sea area and they have this fucking sick track. It's like, it's like if sea shanty was grimdark. Oh, that sounds good. There's a, like a, there's a part where you're going, like, along, like, docks and... Kind of a coastal area, and you're basically punching Cthulhu. It's the it's the fish folk from the first one area. Yeah, mm, yeah. But yeah. it's like uh, the cove. The cove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the music they have for this one is now like pirate music. And if you cool. fight the boss, you like he can like vor you. All right. You guys don't get too far off the ship. Do we, do we get Olivia or Akatra? Yeah, Do we your get choice. a long rest on the way there? Looks at chat. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it, was, it was a week's travel. I was... halved out. Wow. Let's Doesn't pay attention to my game. Uh... No, I was looking at my... I'm, I'm getting rid of this flowchart. Fuck this thing. I don't want to look at it anymore. It's just making it worse. Get that in my sight. I was I was giving you shit all. You can use the flowchart. No, no, it's distracting me in a bad way. I don't like it. Did we vote okay. on Livia? But I I would have said Olivia. I heard Livia. Okay, yeah. I also said Livia. I, I agree with that. This feels this feels like it's called deathless rot, like death, a little more radiant damage. Yeah. Some range swamp. All right, what do we see? I'm gonna make Womp. a wisdom check. I mean, wisdom check. What the fuck? 
Uh, I'm gonna make this one. Do we see any green ogres? Any nasty creepies crawling in the muck? Um, Are there any donkeys? Trolls? Hey, do you, do you see a dragon milf? Ooh. Yeah, just move forward a bit. And thanks to Rain and Clyto's keen eyes, you guys see some motion in the swamp. Something large moving in the water and kind of both... You can't tell if they're rising from the ground or stepping out of the shadows, but materializing from seemingly nowhere. Is a boy. Oh, he's got a sight. Yeah. Oh, Lord. He goes, The master said you would be coming. And I... The water uh, this slowly rises out of it. Looks kind of vaguely dragon-shaped, but like all of its flesh is decaying and rotten. Yo. Ooh. That's Monster that's cool. Hunter. Is it? Yeah. There's a, uh, a dragon monster, Monster Hunter, called Valhazak. So. We get a uh, image of that? Oh, sure. Very cool. Kind of pixelated when it's blown up. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Is this gonna be better? It's a little better. Mm hmm. I need to play Monster Hunter. I just tried to play Monster Hunter with a friend, and it was. It just takes so much fucking effort to play. It's it's in the quick so time. Like, it just takes time. Like, I remember he and I spending like a half hour just punching this monster. It's fucking miserable. You know, we're rolling for initiatives now. Is the swamp here difficult terrain? Yes, the water is difficult terrain. Rancid tide. What kind of rules are we making to check these things out? Uh, religion or arcana? So, Beldwin, uh... I've lost connection to the server, hold on. That happened earlier, but it was like... It's... Yeah, it just does it sometimes. I rolled. I was gonna roll, but then roll to 49. Yeah, it'd, it'd be like that. <laughs> um, so... This dragon thing... Rancid Tide... It is a... Sort of a zombified dragon... That will, uh... Spit nasty shit at you. Not fun. Resist necrotic, vulnerable to critical hits, and is dazed by radiant damage. Uh, rain. This is a type of reaper. Typically creatures that serve, um... That serve the shadows, or at least inhabit the shadow fell. And the creatures where your order of warrior gets its name. Uh, they'll hit you with their scythe. It doesn't feel good. Why are you? Why is he here? Resistant, necrotic, vulnerable to radiant. Uh, the other guys are like butchers. They'll stab you. Be hurt. Why is he here? Totally Why is he here? Totally dark soul. Reapers can be anywhere. They don't have to be in the Raven Queen's room. Yeah, didn't you fight a non-Raven Queen Reaper last time? 
Or, no, that was just an Avenger. That was an Avenger for another god. Yeah, it was an Avenger of Lul. Anybody can just pick up a scythe and call themselves a Reaper. Easy. <sighs> Tyler used to mean something. It's about family. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. We're waiting for Mr. Slasher. Come and slash us. Oh, he, he is first. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. I'm just used to you guys just crushing the initiative. I apologize. Very sorry. He vanishes. <gasps> like a bad slasher villain. What? Delvin. Alrighty. Let's get this out of the way. Gonna action, uh, standard action, chain lightning. I'm gonna target the, I'll target the uh, Reaper with the first attack. Fucking chain lightning, okay. Hell yeah. More it's like 32 chain against crazy. reflex. That's a super miss. All right, it takes half damage. That is half, okay. And then okay. I'm gonna use <laughs> The other two against the adjacent creatures. This is going to be the secondary attack. Probably another yeah, Omega well, miss. Uh, it's a hit on the slasher. Yeah, that works. That's it. And then half damage on the other one. And then the other person's invisible. I wouldn't be able to hit them with the overall chain lightning burst. The last. The I think you have to see them, target them. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, that's a targeted spell. So, then with my move, I don't want to be caught in a blast. So, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just move over there. And then that's my turn. Hello, it's me, Olivia. Well, Titus, before I forget, I did this last time, and I... Or, like, after last time, it's going to take a while to upload for Pride Month, I did the ship. Oh! It's just gonna take a while. Oh, jeez. Um... What do you mean, oh, jeez? Like, rainbow sail? It What's looks the resolution? beautiful! I'm sure it does, it's just... You know, you are... Never mind. Oh, you mean I'm breaking up? Oh, oh, coming, coming in now. There it is. Ooh. I like that. It's very cool. Gage. Good mm -hmm. game. Dawn Sentinel Pride Edition. Limited time only. Or like Dong Sentinel. Wow. <laughs> All right, she does some damage. Rom. All right. So is this a uh, difficult terrain? Yes. All right, then I'll get here with one. Uh, I would like. That works because my new power has a range four, right? Pulse three. Where's urging? Yes, excellent. Right. I am charging here using my uh, boots. Boots of mighty charge, and then I will would like to warriors urge. Each enemy in burst you can see, so the invisible guy gets off at this time. No. 
Did it actually hit the dragon? I do get a plus one to this for charging, but uh, that's okay. Ah, uh, you hit this guy. Cool. They're all marked because I did, like, target them. That's good enough, okay. I guess. Uh, and that guy will take the... Uh, that is it. Oh, uh, I did use an item daily. Kedops, do you know how big oh. the temp HP is? Um, I don't even remember what feat it's called, but me. It, it's one of your. Out. No, it's it's not one of your feats. It's one of your artificer features, class features. Uh, half level plus int mod is 21. 21. Got it, thanks. Alright, Rain. I was trying to make sure that my uh I open the compendium to make sure that my thing is right. Yes, I ignore necrotic resistance up to twenty. Yes. So that means I actually hit these guys with anything necrotic. So my it's weird though, I don't really do necrotic damage. I do radiant damage. Which is good. I don't think I can charge the dragon. I think he's too far away. Is a charge double move? You can double move and then charge. This is the thing that I can. I can make it 14 squares. That's good, right? I can charge the dragon, unless the water is deep. The water is difficult, right? Shit. You have to fly or teleport. Me fly suck. I guess I'll do Why's this. Now it's 10. So, I'm going to fly within 10 squares of them, mark them both, and then- The big guys? Yeah. And then Radiant Rush at the dragon. But flying. I don't know what sound skirt makes when it's flying. Whoosh. No. Whoosh. It. Did I s Button, please! I did it. He days now. Yep. Is that your turn? Yeah, I use my miner and everything. Alrighty. I'm making a ranged attack. Which means you get an op attack? Yes. I forgot this isn't Pathfinder and I don't need a feed for that. Nope. We're not. Right. Who are you ranged attacking? You and Rain. Okay. That's fair. It. Alright. Kazmiak. Forty nine against reflex. What, me? I thought you said No 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 yeah. Kromiak forty nine yeah, against AC. The one that's 49. actually yeah, forty nine against AC. Man. Okay. And then Rain. Forty seven against reflex. Jesus Christ. I take it that's a yes? Huh. Alright, Chrome. This is on necrotic damage. Did, did 
you not take any damage? Time back. Your temps? I, I had 21 temps, yeah. From what? From using an item daily. Oh, items well. Power. It's a 24 damage, so it exactly removes your temps. That's very funny. Cool. And you have a minus 4 penalty to your AC and your reflex. Save ends. Sure. Rain. You don't have no chronic resistance, right? No, for some fucking reason, I only have cold resistance. Yeah, blame your DM. He's a shitbag. It's not your fault. It's it, it's literally my... I got this uh, resistance from being Shadow Kai. It's so weird. It should be Nekai. You are... So, necrotic damage, and you are weakened. I'm what? Weakened. How dare you... I know. To the end of its next turn. What a bitch. Alright, and it is still dazed. Fight up. Is, is there a symbol I can put on myself so I remember I have regen? Uh. Yeah, it's called regenerations right there. Okay, I have regen 8 as long as I'm not bloodied. So I can go like here and then there with the difficult train, or can I make it across? How much wound do you have? Six. So it's two to there. One, then... two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. Also, when does regen trigger beginning or end of your turn? Start, I believe. I'm gonna cast yeah, Punishing it's... Eye. And I'm gonna put it. Uh... I know I can put it. I'm just looking where I want it. Uh, if the guy is concealed in that zone, if he's invisible, he is unconcealed. And what what effect does Chromiac have? Uh, armor broken. Minus armor four broken. AC and reflex, I believe. And what effect does Rain have? Weakened. Just weakened? weakened What's the radius on that? Three. On the Punishing Eyes, three. So what does weaken specifically do? Half, Half damage. damage. Half damage, okay. That sucks. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, just out of range. It's save ends, right? Bad. No. Oh, how long does it last? End of its next turn. Oh, oh it's not It's not that bad then. Okay, is Chromiac save ends? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to Bond of Transference the Reaper. Hey. Not you, the other Reaper. <laughs> the abhorrent yeah. Reaper. The horror uh, Reaper. Adds two damage to that because an enemy is next to, or my ally is next to it. I'm going to start paying attack. Okay. And um, Chromiac is going to transfer his uh, broken or whatever it is to him. Cringe. Oh, it has minus four to AC and reflex. Nice. Oh, do milestones carry over no. even though we had a new day, or is it one per day? It's per day. Per, per day. day. Okay. And that Sorry, lasts until the end of my next turn, and that is my turn. <sighs> Hello, it's me. I'm trying to keep track of all my MacGuffins. Johnny Slasher. John Slash. Oh. Cheater. That's fine. Oh, he gets extra damage from the Punishing Eye, too. How much? Um, ten, ten, I believe. High kick. Right. Let's stab you, Dark Oh, Okay. 41 against AC? Sorry, what? 41? 41. Oh my god, I have uh, Abjure Undead, I forgot. Fuck. I'm going to Shield Edge Block. That's cringe. What does Shield Edge Block do? It's my the, the very old counterpower. Yeah, I okay. still have for some reason. Make an attack. Miss. Yeah, but it's also a miss. Hmm. Ain't that annoying. Step away. Johnny Reaper's turn. He 
he's going to hit you with his sickle. 38 against AC. Uh, who, me? Yeah. Yeah, that's a miss. Yeah, okay, Karamak, Kazmak, rather. Can you, can you jump as part of a move action? Uh... Yeah, jumping work. Yes, you can, I'm fairly certain. I would like to Jumping jump. is a move action. Uh, I would like to jump the difficult terrain. Jump. Jump part of a move action. Yep. If a creature moves two squares as part of an action and then jumps, double the result before dividing by ten. Or simply divide by five. Yes. <laughs> and count the number of squares you jump as part of your move. If you run out of movement, you fall. Okay. It'll be like one, two. Make an athletics check. Jump three. I want to see him blade on his face in the water. Okay. <laughs> now you can jump up to your rest of your speed. Wherever you fucking want. I mean, it's part of my moves, so I just. It's not gonna be a show off or anything. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, you can jump uh, nine squares with that. That roll. If you have the speed for it. 45 foot horizontal, by the way. Suddenly he's a rabbit. I mean, he's got, he's got more than. Enhancing I got, I got performance, the, the, enhancing runes. Yeah, on my, on my feet. Uh, gonna, <laughs> He's oh. wearing Air Mordens. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Air Morden. The, that's a minor action for a move, right? So I have a standard left, or is it standard to have a minor left? You have a minor left. Minor left. Uh... You could have charged. You could have jumped minor charge. I don't have any miners that I can really use. I think you just jump and charge. Yeah, I'll, I'll just charge him. Very cool. This is a little chill for what I'm wanting. Love this one. 38. That's better. Uh, no, miss. Okay, that was my turn. You include the plus one from charging, does it matter? What is his actual defense? His defense is. Wouldn't it matter? Okay. Okay. Is, Hello, it's uh, me. is defense still four lower? His defense is four lower. Yeah. Did he save? He did save. Okay. Yeah, God, I'm just fucking <laughs> having a stroke, guys. I apologize. Yeah, don't worry about it. Low quality DM ship. Well, look, we're all we're all four yet here. It's okay. I am. I am crashing. Hello, Kaleido. Hello. 43 against AC. Uh, 43 hits. The stab. Mm. That one. All right. There's two up there. I'm just going to walk up to... Actually, I don't even need to walk. Slasher Mans is in my range, and I will help my friend, Clyto, by casting a spell at him. And not at, not at Clyto, at the Slasher. <laughs> <laughs> Witch Bolt, 35 against Reflex. Miss. Help my friend, Zombie Slasher. Oh, really? Fuck. Um, yeah. Move action, I'm going to... Run over and hide behind Livia, and then I'll minor action, bring my hand out. Mage hand. Yeah, cool. Where are you putting that hand? I I'm sure that <laughs> plus two to hit wouldn't uh, wouldn't have mattered for your attack roll. <laughs> order lull. And that's my turn. Indeed, order lull. Her, her stone twitch chat was a good time. Back. That was peak twitch chat. Naxo. Oh, shit. Max is out. The foreheads every time Ben Brode spoke. 
All right, uh, Kaleido, you get a plus eight bonus to your AC into the end of my next turn. Ooh, thank you. Uh, Chrom. Do I have my action I want to use here? No. Right. Oh, I, I forgot about this. Fucking... This is an ability that Livia has that I, uh... I'm not going to use here, but uh, it's just something that she has in her pocket. Just be aware of this. Mm. That's pretty cool. Pretty good minor action. Yeah, right? It is pretty neat. All right. I will... It's a okay, K rain. Would you like to take, like, four actions on your turn? Not while I'm weakened. No, not I'll now. Minor mm. action. For shielded aggression. Entering that stance, I now push one further when I do. I will then move like so, provoking op attacks from both of them. Are they gonna take him? Like man, have... Oh, no! Uh, I'm out of his threatening uh, space here. Yeah, so. you're you're provoking for both of them, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay, sorry, I'm, I misunderstood. Uh, Scythe Man's misses. They both miss. Great. I will then mountain breaking blow the Scythe Man. Oh. Do not break for mountain. And do that for important mountain purposes. Okay, thank you. Miss. Bitch. Uh... Mountain's still intact. Correct. You know what? I'm a hero point. I have that is fair, you can't take him with you. So, uh... Nope. Yeah, still a miss. Cool. That's fine. You done? Yep. <sighs> Mr. Rain. Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Rander. I guess I'll just... Hit it Get with your 8 health back, Smile. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had the thing and it's still... For I guess I'll just hit it with my at will because I'm weakened. Yeah. Does it give anything for days besides combat advantage? Nope. Oh. Weakened's still gonna do like 60 damage? 40, 40 damage? 40. And then actually more than that because it's weak 25 to critical hits. Oh, neat. Totally not radiant. Well. No, it does not. Oh, so he's going to hit the button and it will do, take radiant damage? Yeah. I'm trying to look at this other thing. I actually have. Abjure I'm dead, and I think I can finally use it on things, because these guys look undead to me. Yeah, it's just, maybe don't use it here. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I still it, can't use it, okay. I mean, just because you're weakened, right? Oh no, I wasn't going to use it while I was weakened, I was going to wait, because it does a lot of damage. That's why I do my at will. That's what I meant. Um, have okay. you updated it properly? No, it is not updated properly. Oh wait, it gets upgraded? It should be doing 7d10 now. Oh. There you go. It'll go up to 8d10 at level 25. Okay, you done? Yep. It's me. The Dragon Mans. Dragon Mans. Dragon Mans. All right. no I'm gonna make another range attack. Okay. 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 Jeez. So, 
activates my fucking rancid flood. He explodes in a shower of gore. Nice. Uh, 36 Ooh. against Fortitude Rain. Is that much necrotic damage, and you were pushed here. The big two range attacks. Okay. Dariak! Yep. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Uh, 46 can stay C. Yeah, that's a hit. Rain. 38 against Reflex. God damn it, stop it. So close to my reflex. Hey, you're weakened for another turn. Carmack, you're lowered your defenses again. Stop weakening me! No. Smile. Slido, you're up. I'll keep critting you and it won't matter anyway! Fucking apparently, dude. My defenses. Oh. 42 is oh. Thundering Armor. You no longer weakened, Rain. Nice. Forty-two hit. Yes. Um, I get some. Oh no, it's not a. Wait, no, it is. With the arm bow. Uh, what is it? You've accidentally put the weakened on my face. I know. And I wanted to make a statement. Pushes, pushes him away one target uh, to the... Okay, that works. Um, if I move that way, like one square there, is that still difficult terrain? Does that count as two? No, it's one to move there. Okay, cool. You're stepping out of difficult terrain? Two, three, four, five. Let's just like... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just surround this guy. Um, I don't think I can do anything else, really. Nope. That's my turn. Uh, okay, I'm going to spin to win. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Kromiak. 48. 46, rather. Uh, Kazmiak, yeah. 44. Yep. Fido, 41. Uh, that's a miss with the bonus from Livia. Mm. Is Kromiak, is that hit on you? Yep. Did Kromiak hit? I got hit. What did you get, like, re-upped on the, on the armor broken thing? Yep. Sure did. Oh, okay. Yep. How much damage is it? I, I I applied it. Oh, okay. I I would like to know because I have a thing I can do, but it's fine. Oh right, it's twenty nine. Uh, then I think I would use what you it do? here. Uh, I would like. Wait, is this? Uh, let me just double check if this is an encounter or a daily thing. Oh, it's a daily. Then never mind. Fuck it. Okay. I'm Hello, it's me, Johnny Rufus. I'm going to cleave at you guys. You are marked, sir. Kramiak, 33 against AC. Uh, are you including anybody other than me in this attack? Yes. I would like to punish that then. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I am teleporting here and I am bonking you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, please move three away. <laughs> Still dizzy now. Ah! Uh... He got his ankles broken. Fucking fly over here. Okay. 
Good talk, good talk. Guys, Mac. Fuck those guys. <laughs> I didn't want to hang out there anyway. <laughs> Uh, the of iron. Don't do it. Gonna do it. I'm warning you. Already did it. Miss like a bitch. I'm eternally triggered by those fucking hanging brackets and that power. What? <laughs> After, uh, after, after, after every time you see that, I notice the fucking brackets and the destruction line, and it bothers me. <laughs> There's so many powers to manage, I can't. Hey, uh, get a miner. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, Mendy. Twenty plus surge. Everyone else. Uh, heals for twelve. Wait, do I hit the healing button now? Oh uh, no, if you can you, you hit target. the apply healing. If you hit the target, then yes. Or the target. Use my new thing. Oh yeah. I'm now in destruction and protection. Everyone gets plus six to damage and plus four. all defenses. Oh, neat. Plus, plus the plus what? Plus the bonuses of you know that just being in them. Yeah. What could it? What does the word production passively do? Uh, two resist all day. Go oh, next. Time. Oh no, it's actually, it's uh, it's up to six. Is this six now, yeah. It was just six to all damage or adjacent to you. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. That was my turn. One sec. Do I, is, do we... You cut out. The, cut the out. weekend is the end of the dragon's turn. Yes. Okay. I was well, looking at your sheet like... building for for some reason. I just noticed that your epic destiny yeah. is, is your Sage of Ages in all fucking caps. Sage of Ages. You have to say it like that because you're because wizards. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm like close here and stab Livia. The bag of holding hey. has um Paragon Path and Epic Destinies. Now. Oh yeah. I don't know who did that. It was me. Okay. <laughs> it was me a while ago. Actually possessing. <laughs> Aspires to great things. Uh, Mrs. Livia, like a bitch, somehow. Oh, I assume that misses. I assume with 33 misses? Whew, yeah, okay, barely. I don't know if that healing surge would have granted beyond maximum and I would have gotten 10 hit points. It probably would have. I don't know how much it would have been, though. Rip. <sighs> Beldwin. All Just right, give yourself 10 temps and call it a day. I will cast a spell. I'm gonna need you to go back over to your side of the river and fuck off, please. Thanks. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off, please. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, by the way, I'm gonna do the correct order here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna move the mage hand. Before you... You get the op attack there, right? Hold on a second. Well, no, because it's already summoned. I'm just, ha I'm having it move. Force movement is not hindered by difficult terrain. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Okay, so... Alrighty. You, he, uh, you move kind of hand over and, uh, and then attacky... Uh, uh, attacky. 47 is, against Will. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Explode. Crushes my Will. 
pushes five squares. I'm just like over here now. He gets stop yeah. deck there, though, doesn't he? Close the range deck. It's a close burst. Oh, close it's a burst. Very good. Are you, um, and then me and presence? Livia get temps. How many temps? This many temps. Wow. Well. Thank you, Belvin. And then move there. That's my turn. What a brave boy. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, it's me, Livia. <laughs> my my cigarette smoke breath. <laughs> Mama needs a smokes. It's a good zombie voice. I learned that if you uh, put your tongue up against your front back teeth, like a, a Swiss roll thing, kinda, with your tongue, that when you go and scream, it, it does. Fuck. <laughs> pretty cool. And Is that's that some just, Walking Dead stuff? That's just with my tongue being behind my teeth. Because normally it would be like, but if my tongue's in the right place, it's. I wish you, <laughs> I, I, I wish you wouldn't. I'm sorry. I was, I, I just thought it was relevant to the zombie conversation. So. Alter, you were truly a master of mouth. I'm so glad. <laughs> Only the bad ones, us. though. Only the unacceptable ones that can never be done in the presence of our master. <laughs> so Olivia hits the one next to you guys with an attack. As a reaction to the attack, it goes invisible. No, it doesn't. It's in the zone. It oh, teleports zone. away. Oh, okay. The, uh, the ghosty zone? zone? <laughs> it's in the ghosty zone, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it would have taken bonus damage. Cool. Uh, Chrome. Well, that makes my turn easier. Uh... I am going to stay right the fuck where I am and clamor my shields. Each enemy in burst I can see, so the invisible guy oh, is uh, gets off scot free once again. Everybody else is marked. Enjoy. That's my turn. I see rain. So does a close burst count as a ranged attack? Actually, no. Sorry, I guess I would have. I just don't roll twice for it, right? For... I think you do. Uh, it's an implement attack, not a weapon attack. My oath only applies to melee attacks. Implement attacks can be weapon attacks. I mean, it does specify attacks. it does specify melee attacks. So yeah. I don't think my implement is ever a melee attack. No. It is just like a my sword is my implement though, but I'm not swinging it at him. Uh. Mm. You talking to the dragon? Yeah. He's not still dazed, right? No, he is. He is? So I have yeah. combat advantage? You hit him with radiant damage last turn. Oh. So I have combat advantage. Yes. But no 2d20. Oh, god. You have a hero point, though. I use it. Please don't be a zero point. I'm not allowed to fucking... Where the fuck is the little... Give me my powers back, bitch. Sure. No, I can't because it's using a resource. Oh, it's using your. And it gives me an error when I try to hit attack again, and it'll say you have insufficient resource. Hit. Oh. I guess I'm here now. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Uh, this is for the Evander thing. <laughs> okay. You're in the middle Punching. of combat. Oh, I forget about that. Why, um, did, why did the punishing eye roll that? Because you had it selected. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't suppose he's within death knell range. Sure isn't. Yeah. Uh, I have a minor action. Yep. So I'll do this. Please don't crit me for a third time. 15% chance to crit now. Yeah, true. Thank you. Be slowed though. That's what mobilized, so. That's hey, so uh, marked. <laughs> you forgetting something? No, oh, you're not forgetting something. Hey, he's in death no range now. Is this. Is my sword a free action? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Hold is on. what a free action? To refill my. Yes. Uh, channel Divinity. Yes. But okay. you already used your minor this turn, so you can't death now. Just use it. Use the move action. Oh, right. You didn't move. It, yeah, death now me? Yeah. Okay. Just fucking abjures undead, pulls closer, hits again, death nails. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck that dragon, I guess. Yep. Later. Can I just set my channel divinity to two then? Sure. Because it, um, it's a free action, right? But it's an item daily, isn't it? To refill that. That so. does mean you get your 21 temps. Does mean you get 21 temps, and also means you used one of your item dailies for the day. You, uh, you, you, you drag in there a little bit out of here? Uh, slightly. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're slurring your words, which I understand. It's what, like, ass o'clock a.m. right now? <sighs> Almost five. Yeah. All right. Wait, I'm what am going I getting to... temps from? Clido. Um, Whenever Clido. you use a weapon daily, Clido gives you temps. Oh, yeah. You get 21. Um, I'm going to use my... So this is going to be less cool because the dragon isn't alive, but it's still pretty cool. I'm going to use my <laughs> propellant boots, and I'm going to fly over here. Temps and don't stack, Alter. Oh. I am oh, hovering... Is. I'm hovering in the air with my Iron okay. Man boots, and then I'm going to okay. do a beam. I thought you would appreciate the Iron Man boots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially with the Unibeam. Fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, hit. Give me another attack roll. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, that was against a Reaper, I guess. Alright. Uh, damage for the Slasher. And then I think he takes half damage. Is that right? Oh, wait. And so that. you... No, okay, the way it works is you make a single target. That's Ew, right. Okay. Oh. And you would have, I assume you would have targeted the Reaper? Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, so that 42 would have been a hit on him. Okay. So he takes that 36, and the Slasher takes half. Right, creature between you as a target, right? It's been a while since I used that. Yeah. Um, I... Time. Uh, yeah. Oh. And I also get 21 temps. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Shasha. Shasha. Felt a natural 20. Oh. Olivia hits. Uh, you, you, you'll live, right? You'll be fine. Yeah, probably. Fine. I got temps. The thing that like teleports you, you hit. It's 57 damage. Okay. Um, hold on. How far is it? I do zoom in. Oh, yeah, Four. it's in range. I'm gonna do energy conversion. Uh, so Beldwin gets resist all 10 to that damage. And yeah, then so Beldwin get 10 health back and then get 10 temps. Roger, got it. Right. 
How do you um, yeah, no, Livy's gonna channel divinity that. It makes sense. Okay, behold the wall of fucking text. Nice. A, lot, a lot of numbers. Yeah. A lot of rolls Next in there. Turn, you gain plus seven attack rolls and damage rolls. So, I guess you already gained the ten temps, so that doesn't really matter. But, mm -hmm. you get plus seven your next attack roll against that thing. Okay. And then if she hits her next attack, he gains one plus seven all damage. Can you tell I took every single like preserver's rebuke feat? Yep. Okay, well I'm over here. In addition, the fire's over in there. Addition, but also, and he can't do anything about this. So I'm gonna hit rain. Uh, I am going to charge as an interrupt. I didn't know you could do that. You can't do anything about this. He says confidently. <laughs> Oh no, I am a genius. Oh no! Uh, yeah. There you go. Please move three, three away. The creeper's just getting knocked around everywhere. I don't... <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> okay, he action points. Okay. He charges. Okay. Uh, I, I charge as an interval. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking giga forehead, please, miss. Thank you. Oh, that's fair. All right. All right, Rain. Forty-three against. Uh, sorry, forty-one against AC. That is my AC. God damn it. Uh, sorry, I can't okay. lower it any lower. Did you it's take the plus? Did you take the plus one for my mending? No. And you would have forty-two. Okay. You have plus one to all defenses. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty. Sure you know what? I should have done more. He explodes than in shame. <laughs> the other zombies explode in shame as well. I'm so mad about that turn. I'm done here. Aww. Oh no. <laughs> and no, I'm not actually mad, but it's like. Uh, that guy was about to get crumped and the fight was over. It, it yeah. is quitting time. Yeah. The, the Reaper I, reaps his own soul. How do I, uh... Do the charges of the uh, item uses? Like, there's a use an encounter checkbox and nothing happens and I don't know how this works. Um... I just manually adjust it? Because that's what I did. Yeah, the I, I magic item uses two out of three. Okay, I, I just manually did that because I don't know if there's any automatic way to do it or not. Maybe if you, you actually use a power, I don't know. If you have it set as an item power that is like a daily thing, then it does automatically consume. Yeah. Oh, so I'd have to put Dread for us. Power. Here you go, guys. Power, yes. Ooh. Hooray! Hell yeah. It's Gage now. We're celebrating Gage. early. Oh, awesome. It's in the game. Yeah. Yeah, very really good. good. Uh, it's uh, it for today. For uh, from the premium store, your yeah, right. uh, Don Sentinel skin. Uh, you guys leveled up to twenty four. Only nine ninety nine. Oh Ooh. boy! So fun, fun, fun level for all you. Uh -oh. uh, so notably, um, you get plus one to two of your different attributes. So you know, incre increase your stats now. Go in your character sheet, increase it, the two stats you want to increase right now. Is it wisdom and dex, Titus? Probably yes. By one? Yes. Um, stats are max at 30, right? Yes. Spawn and Wisdom, both up to 22. Both get a full mod point. Awesome. Strength to 26 and Wisdom to 22. My dexterity is plus 7 now. Okay, and that's... Probably where you're going to leave it. So don't forget to actually increase your level to 24 as well. Mm -hmm. But have you all increased your stats? Yes. Yes. Get ups. I did, yes. Acceptable? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Just making sure we did that. We did it. Okay, cool, great. Uh, you get a feat, but perhaps most importantly, uh, you get uh, your level 24 epic destiny feature. Yep. 